An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Cousins. And that is incomplete. Cousins pass intended for Dalvin Cook. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. The interception was a good starting point, but still a huge hill to climb with his three-score deficit and time fading. Here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. First and 10. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And now this pass brought in by Brown. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Second and two at the Vikings 16 yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. He goes full extension, and he's got it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the nine-yard line. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. He was brought down at the eight-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up third and five. From the gun on third down, Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Your field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on four. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And this is incomplete. The Bucs try it on fourth down to come up empty. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. It was Jason Pierre-Paul who was able to get him down. Second and ten at the seven-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Working out of the gun, Cousins. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. 
picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. So after the INT, it's Brady. It's complete. He's got Gronk. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. On first and 10, here's Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target, but it'll be second down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Go! Jack! Sugar! Sugar! Throwing again. Brady. And that'll be incomplete. Brady took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Now Brady again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that'll get the deficit back to 16. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And this will come out to the 25 as Osborne elects not to return it. the Vikings now to start their next drive and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me I just going to be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack them here Minnesota. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Chris Godwin. And the box are able to cut into that deficit. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. 
And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Jeff Gladney. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Buccaneers, nine. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And they got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they touched it before it went 10, and that's obviously not going to help their comeback bid here in the fourth. No, not at all. And they're trying to get something going, going after one there. But you've got to give yourself a chance. Let it go 10 before you touch it. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big clap. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Cousins to throw for it on four. That's to his running back. Complete. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. That one, a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. Johnson. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Vikings. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's wrapped up. Take it down. Back at the 25. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. On play action, Cousins. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? They go play action. Cousins. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. Jefferson. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. 
Play action now. Cousins letting one go deep for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. I can't believe they even let you play. Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. 54. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Throwing now is Brady. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. On first down, Brady. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we bid you good night from Tampa.